videos so I'm not going to go today but it's a lovely lovely church look at this porch now St James has a very unique feature attached to the church check this out site of the cell of Christine Carpenter anchoress of Shear 1329 so back in 1329 there would have been a structure here stone structure and people would have devoted their life to God by being walled in, okay, away from the sins of the world. So they literally were living in this stone, what, five, six foot by four foot maybe? And villagers would feed them water and food. There would be a little window so they could hear the congregation uh, and the services going on. But that is really an extreme way of personal devotion to God, to the Christian God, you know. You need to get permission from the Archbishop of Canterbury. And I think she did it twice. She came out for a while and then went back in. But we don't know what happened to Christine after she went back in for the second time. I mean, look, it's only up here. And it comes out to about here. Spending years in this almost solitary confinement. Incredible. Or bonkers. Yeah, it's a really nice little touch here at uh, St James's Church. I could probably douse and find out how far the structure came out. I've said it before, you know, this is back in the time when religion ruled everything, absolutely everything. And she would have been highly thought of for sacrificing her freedom in a way for the devotion and love of her God. It might seem bizarre in modern times, being a very secular society we are now, uh, but that's how it was, you know, until the Enlightenment, religion ruled everything. Mm -hmm. 